Chief. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'll just say a few words about Mrs. S, who's just about to have her right eye treated. Um, she had radial keratotomy. It's an eight cut radial keratotomy in 1985 under the care of Mr. Arthur Steele, who was obviously very uh, well known here at Moorfields. Um, and so we're going to try and do a standard capsulotomy and nuclear softening conditioning in a patient who's had radial keratotomy. So we'll see how we go. Thank you. So I don't know if you can get a view of the screen there where we've got our surgical plan there. How are you doing there? Are you okay? <laughs> Comfortable enough? Yeah, it's just a question of staying nice and still, as you know, for a couple of minutes or so. The actual laser bit's only about less than 20 seconds, uh, but just stay nice and comfortable there. Wonderful. So no wiggling your feet and uh, crossing your arms and, <laughs> and no chatting. <laughs> right, we'll get you in, un underneath. This is just a dummy run just to make sure you're more or less in the right place. So when you are in the right place, you'll see some uh, red lights above your right eye. So we just try and line everything up beforehand. You can usually see the eye underneath the, the laser to get more or less in the right position straight away. Well, fantastic, so that's very good. Next step is just to help to keep the eyelids open. You reasonably comfortable there? Yes. Not going to run away? Or? Okay. <laughs> just looking up towards Alan's finger, and I'll just help you with the eyelids, of course. Very steady, just looking at where we're pointing here. I know it's a bit blurry for you. A little bit of a squeeze. Both eyes open. And just looking at Alan's finger again. A little bit of pressure there. Back in one. There's there not, not too much pressure, is it reasonably comfortable? Yes. No, it's not too bad, is it? It doesn't put the pressure up by much. 10 millimeters or so. Well, that's fantastic. So we'll bring you underneath the, the laser. You'll see those red lights again. So it's all rather blurry for that right eye, of course. Oh, please just come on around. Whatever the normal. Fantastic. So nice and steady. You're doing extremely well anyway. That's fantastic. So very, very good. We'll just take those bubbles away, Alan, if we can, thanks. Thanks very much. So we'll just wipe the end of the LOI just to make sure there are no bubbles caught there. Very nicely lined up. Yep, perfect. And you can probably see on the screen the radial keratotomy marks, scars. So we're just trying to get as close to perfect as we can in the middle. Do our capture. And then our lock. If you keep your finger on the lock button, it automatically goes to the right point. Very steady for you, Mrs. S, that's fine. Just stay very, very steady there. It only takes less than a minute from this point in time. Um, and the most difficult thing about this is for the surgeon to have to think of something intelligent to say while we're halfway through. But it does a special scan, which takes all of about 30 seconds. It locks on very quickly, so it doesn't take more than about 10 seconds to get the actual scan. Uh, and then the actual laser is about 20. Nicely set up, very good indeed. We'll check the five millimeter diameter rexus there. I should say capsulotomy, not rexus, of course. And the safety zone of 600 microns I've tended to stick to since the early days. Very, very good indeed. So it's 17 seconds, keep very steady for me. Absolutely stock still. The capsulotomy takes 1.4 seconds and then we're just softening the nucleus. Well, that's about halfway through. Just about five seconds to go. Doing extremely well. Very good indeed. So we'll take the pressure off and bring you out from under. You OK there, Mrs. S? You all right there? Well, you kept nice and still, that was great. Now, don't forget, it's going to be a bit foggy with this right eye of yours while you're waiting to go around to main theatres. So don't get concerned if it's a bit blurry. 
That's absolutely normal. Then we'll be able to release you and uh, back to uh, the room.